What's going on and welcome back to another gear comparison and in this video we're going to be going over the Gray Man Tactical Rigid Molly Panel, the Tasmanian Tiger Seatback Panel, and then the One Tigress Seatback Panel. Now all of these systems are options when it comes to setting up your vehicle and having seatback panels in your vehicle. My preference when it comes to seatback panels is to have a panel system that can go around the headrest and the, around the bottom of the seat and just buckle into place. So that way, if you ever need to rip these out of one vehicle and transfer them over to another, it is significantly easier and you're not dealing with like a whole seat cover that has to be kind of woven into the seat, so to speak, with like 550 cord and some of the other things that you've probably seen when it comes to seatback panels and having seat covers with Molly on them. So. I prefer this system just because it makes them more adaptable and transferable uh, compared to something more permanent. So uh, with that, I do have these three systems here. I am not a big fan of the One Tigress. I just don't think that it really uh, meets the mark in comparison to the Tasmanian Tiger and the, and the Rigid Molly Panel from Gray Man Tactical because of how rigid these systems are. The One Tigress, it's cheap, it's inexpensive, it has options. You have a pocket here at the bottom you have molly it is about the same size as the tasmanian tiger however because it lacks that rigid interior this likes to bend and fold and kind of just lose its um, shape and structure when you start adding weight to it especially down here at the bottom because of the pocket so although it's nice when you start adding a little bit of weight to it whether it's uh, mission essential equipment a firearm fire extinguisher tools and all that like this will start to kind of lose its form due to the weight. So I'm not a big fan of these guys. It does work if you're really on a budget, but I would advise and recommend going with at least the Tasmanian Tiger at a minimum. It's about 100 bucks versus about 20 to $40, depending on where you're purchasing this from. So that's the one Tigress if you want to look at it. It's more of an airsoft company, so you're kind of... You're paying for what you get when it comes down to comparing these other two products like the Tasmanian Tiger and the Gray Man Tactical where they really do invest in their product line and take the time to make sure that their product is exactly what you need and isn't going to uh, fail you when you need it the most. So I would recommend both the Gray Man Tactical and the Tasmanian Tiger over the One Tigress. When it comes to price range though, in comparing these two, the One Tiger or the Tasmanian Tiger is going to cost you about $90. The Gray Man Tactical is going to range depending on what you're looking at, but as far as seat back panel go, seat seat back panels go, you're looking at anywhere from $100 to about $200 depending on the size, shape, and configuration of what this is going to be. So, uh, you do have more options when it comes to this guy or the Taz, or the Gray Man Tactical. The Tasmanian Tiger is going to be kind of a one size fits all approach. So the cool thing with both of these systems is they are very similar when it comes to the headrest strap and the waist strap or bottom of the seat strap. Really not a whole lot of difference when it comes to that. Um, you do have plenty of options around the entire panel to configure this specific to your vehicle so you don't have to worry about that all that much. Um, the Gray Man Tactical systems, because they're significantly larger for the most part, do work a lot better in your larger vehicles like an F-150, um, 1500, uh, Chevy, Silverado, Toyota, Tundra. Those larger vehicles, even tactical military vehicles, this is going to work a lot better because you have that larger profile, more space to fit more equipment, and it doesn't feel as congested and tight when, when setting these up in those larger vehicles. Uh, where if you set this up in a smaller vehicle, it really does take up quite a bit of space, and it does make things feel a little bit congested and tight. Where the Tasmanian Tiger kind of fills that role really well with a smaller profile and a little bit of kind of additional uh, features that kind of after playing around with I was able to identify. So this is going to be a little bit more rigid when it comes to setup and configuration where the Tasmanian Tiger with its smaller profile, you have both vertical and horizontal molly capabilities on this. So you can set this up in an array of different configurations specific to your vehicle. And then in conjunction with that, this does have a pocket that holds your rigid molly panel on the interior that can also be used for maps and holding large items and I guess additional equipment that you may want to throw in there. That's going to be nice and flat and all that. So you can set this up 
uh, to hold maps and that's kind of what I was playing around with it and having it do is I was taking really really large maps um, that have been laminated throwing them inside of there and then you can just flip this panel upside down so when you're actually looking at this the, the velcro portion is the bottom and you'll see that due to the little Tasmanian Tiger logo up here at the top so that's the top but fortunately you can just swap the waist strap and the head strap flip it upside down so then that way uh, you can put this on the back of the seat uh, take that headrest buckle off or just unbuckle it and then it lets this kind of fold down so then that way you can open up that velcro panel pull your maps out help with any kind of navigation and then throw them back in there when they're not in use so i do like that capability and kind of feature with this it was kind of just oh hey you know i can do this with this because there's that pocket and then that way you're not throwing map cases and all of that on the uh, exterior of the uh, panel it's all on the interior and helps kind of protect those um, those maps and all of that so this is kind of a waterproof cordura material with that rigid panel on the interior and then this is just that rigid composite plastic material so overall i think these are very very competitive or comparable and competitive different kind of approach for both but both systems are phenomenal. Tasmanian Tiger more for your smaller vehicles, Grayman Tactical for your larger vehicles. And then uh, that kind of just breaks it down in a nutshell when it comes to these two systems. Uh, when it comes to setting these guys up though, my recommendation would be throw all your administrative stuff on the interior, uh, whether it looks kind of like this on the larger panel or with the smaller panel, you can set things up kind of in this configuration. With those admin pouches towards the interior, it allows for more mission essential equipment to be pushed to the exterior. So that way, if you're running kind of military law enforcement, survival, prepper, first responder, whatever the, the equipment may be that is mission essential and critical to your job and occupation and operational environment, you can set up all of that on the exterior closest to the door. So then that way things like smoke, ammo, medical supplies, fire extinguishers, tools, things of that nature are more easily accessible and you don't have to reach into the interior of the vehicle to be able to pull that equipment out. So I would recommend setting up your admin stuff on the interior of the panels, unless it's firearms. With firearms, I would push them to the interior to force anybody trying to get into your vehicle to actually really have to get into your vehicle to be able to, uh, to get anything. Um, but set these up in a way to where if you're running multiple vehicles, there are the same for the most part or developing an SOP so that way no matter the vehicle everybody knows where all the same equipment is at so then that way if say you're law enforcement you're responding to an active shooter or you're military and you're on a QRF mission guys are under fire and you're touching down on the ground moving to their vehicles and getting into that uh, into that firefight and supporting those dudes everybody knows where all those uh, pieces of equipment and resupply uh, equipment is at so that way they can support that effort to get guys out of that bad situation and back to base and preserve life as much as possible and then anything for like a first responder self-defense um, preparedness kind of an aspect kind of the similar same similar or same concept in that capacity set things up to where the people that you're working with know where the equipment is so then that way they can help support you in any way that they can so uh, with that though if you have any questions i really don't have anything else for these i highly recommend both of these the tasmanian tiger and the gray man tactical above the one tigress it's worth the investment take the time to assess your uh, vehicle and what that seat looks like to determine what is going to be the best fit don't just go buying one of the more expensive or the cheaper ones just because take the time look at the vehicle look at the seat look at how much space you have and then determine what's going to be that best fit uh, if it's a four-door vehicle and you have that full seat in the back seat, then obviously I would recommend going for something a little bit larger. But if you don't have those four-door uh, vehicles and you have kind of more of a crew or a smaller cab, um, you have the ability to uh, set this up in that more of a tighter compact configuration. So uh, with that, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. We'll help you out in any way that we can in answering those questions. And with that, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.